What's up, fuckers? Welcome back to another episode of Hoggy's Beer. Now, what we got today, I kind of hate to do it, just because I've done a lot of it lately, and I don't want you guys thinking that Hoggy's Beer has turned into the Swill Channel. So we have been drinking a lot of Swill. We had the 211 Triple X Board. We had the Evil Eye. We had the Jaguar. And now we're going to ride out the Swill. Hey, man, all that shit was sent to me. If I got it, I got to drink it. I didn't seek it out. But still, we got a side pocket shots to Mike Fee. And we're gonna drink us a side pocket right now. The only reason I'm doing this is because I'm tired as fuck. I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna have lunch, and I'm gonna take a fucking nap. Because I worked late last night, went up and down some stairs about 30 fucking times carrying shit. And I got going early this morning and I had a long morning, and I'm just fucking beat. And this will help me take that fucking nap. So off we fucking go. Ugh. Lacrosse, Wisconsin, boys and girls. Okay, 8.5% high gravity ale, which is already a fucking lie. 8.5% high gravity ale, 24 ounces of it from. Uh... Hold on. <laughs> this is good. Hold on. Man, that was a shitty crack, even for a fucking can. Mmm, it smells like shitty high gravity swill. They all smell the same. That sweet, nasty. Fucking, uh, what was, what was that Phil Hartman shit from uh, News Radio? Rocket Fuel Malt Liquor? Yeah, they all smell like Rocket Fuel Malt Liquor. Cheers with some Rocket Fuel side buckets. It's ice cold, so it ain't that bad. <laughs> anyway, the reason I stopped, I was going to read this shit. I love this right here. Okay? It says, made with natural ingredients. Okay, probably bullshit. Uh, serve cold. No shit. Brewed by Universal Sales Incorporated La Crosse, Wisconsin. I would guess, I would venture to guess uh, and say that... Uh, the brand name is owned by Universal Sales Incorporated, and it is brewed at the City Brewing, or the City Brewery, uh, under contract. Because, you know, that's Lacrosse, Wisconsin. It all comes from the same place. The City Brewery, the City Brewing Plant at Lacrosse, Wisconsin, home of the swill. And a lot of people say that place needs to be bombed. Sometimes I agree, but then I wonder, without all these high-gravity fucking swills, my videos would be a lot more boring. I, I, I kind of look forward to this this shit. I don't know why. I guess it's the novelty of just, you know, different disgustingness from across the... Well, I was going to say from across the country, but they're all from Wisconsin. I tell you high gravity beers they're all exactly the same they all have that sweet alcoholic fucking disgustingness to it it's like it's like gasoline alcohol corn water and you know, rocket fuel man fucking rocket fuel rocket fuel Malika. so this is side pocket i've heard about side pocket for years thanks to mike p he shot one my way for no reason at all i guess he probably enjoys just watching me squirm and bitch about this shit on camera <laughs> He's probably not the only one. Oh, boy. Um, and in case anybody's wondering, this is Hoggy's Beer. We do try to, you know, compare and talk about quality and, and whatever merits this shit may have. It has none. Uh, actually, no, I'll be completely honest. It's 8.5%. It's not terrible. I forgot who it was. Forgive me, sir, if you're out there. Forgive me. I forgot who you are. I forgot your name. But somebody recently commented... I think maybe on like one of my camo videos over there. Um, they said uh, eight, eight percent is like the sweet spot for high gravities. Anything over like eight percent, eight nine percent, uh, shit gets nasty quick. And it's true. You know, nine point nine stack camo, ten percent, twelve percent, twelve two, twelve five. All that shit has been rough, man. But the ones that are like in the eights are bearable. <sighs> I went to the 
Not pleasant though. But it's so cold. That's why I had to laugh. Made with natural ingredients. I don't know about that. And just by itself. Made with natural ingredients. Period. Serve cold. Period. <laughs> Serve cold. Yeah, they're scared people are going to drink this not very cold and realize how disgusting and cheap and shitty it is. I'm sure that's the case. But yeah, you know, everything that's like 10 and 12% is really, really harsh and disgusting. That sweetness just makes it really hard to drink because it's not like a sugary sweetness. It's like a, a rocket fuel alcohol sweetness. Not fucking good, not fucking pleasant. This one at 8.5, even though it is ice cold and I can't really taste it, it's not as terrible. I have to say, man, you know, if I could have them again side by side, you know, put them in the fridge, have them in the freezer the exact same amount of time, and then try them side by side, the Jaguar in the side pocket, I think the side pocket might just win as a more, a more drinkable, less disgusting beverage. So anyways, to anybody watching, like I said, this is the last of the high gravities. We're done. Hopefully nobody out there will send me another fucking care package with more fucking rare swill because they don't have to drink it. But unless that happens, I'm done, man. I'm going to go back to the regional beers like we talked about. I got some Olympia. I got some Rainier. I got some... I got some of them little stubbies that Mike P sent me. I forget what they're called. It's like a German name, Radeburger or some shit like that. I got them. I'm going to go back to the Spanish beers. I think the next one I'm going to hit you guys up with is Cuqueña. That's right, Cuqueña. I know I, that just went over everybody's fucking head except maybe like one or two people. I'll explain it when I do the video. And uh, I got one 24-ounce can of some high-gravity disgustingness. But that's for a special video that I don't know when I'm going to do. Um, and yeah. I might do another shout out video uh, next, you know, I'll wait a few months, get another couple months worth of comments, I know there's going to be new people, old people coming back, new people coming in, you know, give everybody a proper shout, and yeah man, maybe a little better than Jaguar, but it's not, uh, it's not any more bearable. My wife said something about her liver the other day. I just looked at her and said, honey, compared to my liver, your liver is still in the fucking, it's still sealed in the factory box. Fuck my liver. Especially after all these things. My liver must look like a fucking coffee filter. A used coffee filter in a fucking all night truck stop. You know what I mean? By the time they swap that bitch out, it's like a fucking, it's like a screen on a fucking pipe that's never been fucking changed until it's black and caked and, you know, airflow's completely clogged. Smoker lung, you know, all black and withered. I hope my liver ain't that bad, but sometimes I wonder. I've mistreated my fucking liver. If my liver holds out until I'm in my fucking, you know, senior citizen years, then I got myself a soldier fucking liver. <laughs> And I'm sure a lot of you fuckers out there know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Gotta go. <clears throat> Music's over. Time to run out. Nobody said it would be easy. I think I've unfortunately given myself the title of Swill Master now. I don't want that title. I give it back. Ugh.
that's that. Mike P, I thank you, but my liver does not. Everybody else, I love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.